All right, guys, before I get into this video of exposing Yae Miko, I have to waste my resin. So this is how we do it in the blackout. Oh, Y'all yeah, remember last night when I blacked out in that all white dress with her back out? <laughs> all right, finally, after long stances of training and doing the domain, it's time to expose Yae Miko. Damn, I forgot to do my commissions too. Fuck. All right, finally, after long stances of training and doing my commissions, I can finally, finally expose Yai Miko for what she really is. So you may be wondering, why am I, why am I exposing Yai Miko right now? You know what I always thought was sus? If Yai Miko can be a human fox, doesn't that mean that this fox right here? Is also someone we may know that walks on two feet. Like, look at him. Look at him. That's a menacing face. Now, really think hard about this. If Yaimiko can start off as a fox and then become human, doesn't that mean a fox can also walk on two feet? And I think I just realized something. Who does he look like? Look! What are y'all teaching kids out here? If Yaimiko was a fox, and then changed to a human person, and then that's her, that's her, like, hidden identity? Couldn't Crash Bandit be hiding his identity too? And just acting like he's a normal fox in the wild? Come on, Crash! Come on, Crash Bandit, we all know it's you, man! You're not fooling nobody! Oh, Lord Barbados, if you can hear my cries, please, tell me, what should I do? If Yai Miko is Naruto, what should I, what, what is, what is the plan? Should I expose her to the world? You're a cute priest. Hmm. Sinner. Oh, 